So um, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, engine turning. Um, I love engine turning. I'm a hot rod guy. Um, like that kind of retro look. Um, and so um, today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to engine turn uh, some covers I built for my PC and C1100 Tormach to uh, cover the table so that uh, I don't have any don't have any issues there uh, as far as chips and damaging stuff. Makes it easier to clean up. But I wanted them to look cool instead of just looking like plain aluminum. Um, I actually have one of these spring-loaded uh, tool holders for tapping and that kind of thing. And uh, have some of these abrasive sticks uh, in both quarter and half inch. Um, and uh, to make this a little easier, I actually wrote some code, because that's what I do for a living. I um, actually wrote some code here um, that basically allows you to set the parameters you want. Um, for example, you can come in and specify um, spindle RPM, tool diameter, uh, dwell at depth. When you're turning, you want to have that abrasive writing on the aluminum at depth. Whatever tool number it is, clearance for moving, Z feed rate, and then Z depth, so that you can come down, pause for like a second or whatever, um, and then come up and move over, whether you want coolant or not, which is probably a nice idea. Um, and then uh, you can specify uh, the dimensions, and whether, right now I have it set where I can start from the bottom left or the bottom right, depending on the engine turning pattern I want, and then it automatically generates the G-code based on the size and the diameter of the tool, um, automatically generates the G-code uh, to run, uh, to do the engine turning process. You just uh, copy this out and paste it into uh, your, your mill, and away you go. I'm gonna go ahead and demo it here, and you can check it out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, loaded up the G-code that uh, my E-turn wizard uh, has created. As you can see, it's basically a whole bunch of uh, basically uh, single shot hex going down. Um, and this, in this case, is pretty much the full limit and travel uh, on the Y side um, of the mill. Um, and it's going to leave a little bit of engine turning on the far end of the plate that um, I'm going to have to add a row to. But overall, it should be pretty good. Um, I'm all set up, should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do a cycle start and see how it looks. One side done. There you go. Got a cool finish. Turned out pretty neat. The next thing I've got to do is uh, return the abrasive on my my blaze uh, to true it up. Where's a little bit between all those passes? So in the interest of keeping the video short, I didn't show turning the left-hand side of the table with the uh, engine turning routine. Overall, though, you can see the pattern turned out really nice, and I'm fairly confident that this is going to help me 
keep the uh, the mill bed or ways much cleaner and uh, reduce the potential of damaging it from a tool dropping on the table or something. Anyway, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.